So in the past, what we've used for a load release hitch is this three to one with a change of direction. The problem with it though, we've found it actually provides too much friction. And if this is an eight millimeter times 10 meter bit of cord, it only gives us about two and a half meters of extension, which a lot of the time in a practical setting is not enough. So what we're looking at for this video is an alternative to that and it's a bit of a just a slight tweak where rather than a three to one we've just created this two to one here so simply clipped the figure of eight on a bite into the carabiner run it through a bite and then built this munter here and what we've done is we've gone out and tested this to make sure it actually works. So we've done slow pull testing, so we've tied it off and broken it. And we've also done testing where we've put our hand, one and two hands on here to test the friction. So that's what this video is about. We've also built a video, which we're going to link to later on, where we've actually showed you how to build this and tie it off and use it. All right, so untie it, lower it do all that stuff to it, but that's in a different video. But this one's all about the testing. Cool, so let's carry on. The first round of testing that we did is we've come in here and we've tied it off. So we've put a mule hitch in here and then come around and we've tied it off in that fashion. So that's what we've tested so that's round one of the testing coming up now. Twenty two point two four. Once again, it broke at the figure eight on a bite in the two to one up in here. Cool, thanks for coming back. Um, round two of the testing, what we've actually done is we've untied it. And the testing video you're about to see is where it's in this mode here and we've just got one hand holding to show you what its capability is with minimum amount of friction. Two, 
three. Three point eight nine mix. The third part of the testing, we're just going to head up into our little test drop test tower, and we're going to actually try this out with a physical two hundred kg load and a one hundred kg load, and see how we go with one hand and two hands, and do some little experiments like that. So some good practical hands-on testing. So let's go and have a look at that now. So what we've got here is a two to one uh, load release hitch. And what we're gonna be doing with this one is lowering it off. So at the moment down here, so we'll just have a bit of a look. Let's go downwards, have a bit of a look down here. Down here we've got a hundred kilogram load approximately one kilonewton and on the load cell here if you can see that it says 1.04 to 06 it's uh, Rock Exotica Enforcer um, sampling at 2 hertz right so that's what we've got at the moment so we're just doing a trial with that so what we've got here is this nice system with a figure of eight here and a munter up here a mule here and an overhand here with a nice tail and with um the it's 10 meters of eight millimeter cord and we'll just take first thing i'm going to do is we'll take that cord out because we've caught it up here nice and tidy so it's out of the road but very easy to undo at the same time i'm just gonna got a little deck here i'm just going to put it down on the deck and making sure i've flaked it into a nice pole so it's going to come come out really good so let me do that perfect now first thing i'm going to do is undo this overhand part so i can undo that quite happily as this mule part is actually going to hold it but when i'm undoing the mule part what i need to do is put my hand over the top of the munter and that'll hold it so that this hand is replaced by this hand up here and because the friction on the munter is going to be downwards so the maximum friction is me holding downwards like this i'm pulling downwards first so let me do that I'm pulling downwards then I've got maximum friction on the munter cool so as I said this is a hundred this is a hundred kilos so let me just try conservatively with two hands to get going so there's two hands just doing hand over hand let me just slide it through my hands and that's really really easy to control but the good thing about it is actually I can stop it, I can start it easily with two hands. But it's running really nicely, so that's a good thing. Now let me try it with one hand. So, one hand. So these are bare hands without gloves on. Yep, I can easily start it and stop it sliding through just with one hand. So that's that one kilonewton load and we've got a 200 kg load around two kilonewtons so if you look up here it says two kilonewtons and we'll just have a look down at the load now as well so two sandbags around 100 kilos each so we've uncoiled this making sure it's ready to go and nicely flaked on the ground beside me the first the first thing i'm going to do here is undo the overhand all right just basically this all all this needs is for me just to hang on to it then put my hand over here and that's going to lock the munter while i 
pull the mule. So I'm pulling the mule down and pulling downwards to get maximum friction in the munter. So it's pulling down, this is with a 200 kg load. So it's nice. Right, let's, let's lower that. So I'm going to start nice and conservatively with two hands. So let's do two hands, hand over hand. And that's lowering really nicely under control, doing hand over hand. So either hand over hand like this, or swapping of the hands. Alright, so let me just slide it with two two hands, just sliding it through two bare hands. No problem, no heat build up whatsoever. I'm able to keep that under control right now. Getting close to the ground, so I'm just going to try sliding that with one hand. Sliding it through with one hand. Sliding it through with one hand. And that's, and I can stop it and start it without any problems. And I'm getting about two kilonewtons up here. So that's nice and smooth and easy to control. And let's have a look at this down here now. Yeah, so quite, quite a lot of extension. There's a 1.2 meter sling attached onto the 200 kg load. So as a bit of a conclusion for this video, what we found during testing that this little two to one load release hitch is really suitable for all the uses that we can think of for a single person load, a two person load, and practically just works really, really well because it has just the right amount of friction that you need, not too much, not too little, and also will break when we tie this thing off over 20 kilonewtons. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. What we've also done is put together a blog post that has some more detailed information and also a testing uh, report that you can download as well. And so head over to Over the Edge Rescue dot com and have a look at that as one of our most recent blog posts and as I said at the beginning there's also a video on how to actually tie this two to one load release hitch and there's lots more information on that video and we'll link it in the show notes down the bottom so you can find that one as well or it might just come up on the end video the end credits as well so thanks for coming along and we'll see you next time